shred every defense in the game with this quick snap play. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll set notification icons so you can never miss an upload. So guys, uh, I am in the Jets playbook. This playbook is becoming one of my favorite 34 uh, uh, offense and defensive uh, playbooks in the game. Uh, the Jets has got a lot of great plays. Uh, I'm breaking down multiple formations on my Patreon. Um, I'll be showing you uh, the Jets single back bunch the Jets single back white trips. I'm also going to be doing a breakdown of the, uh, the gun uh, empty tray stack, probably split slot, and also the gun bunch off uh, open offset and gun tray. Great play, great plays in this. Um, I'll probably be looking at some other formations too. Now this particular play is the Jets single back white trips, and it is Salem. Uh, one of my favorite plays just because of the way this play is set up, but you can also find this in the Redskins, the Titans, the Buccaneers, the Raiders, Rams, uh, Jaguars, Packers, Packers, Bengals, and Panthers, a lot of 34, D, uh, 34 playbooks, and also a couple 43s, but what I like about this particular play is a quick snap play, you play it stock, then you make your reads, uh, and it's very easy to work, so let's go ahead and take a look at this in the game. So once again, it's going to be out of the single back wide trips, and it's going to be Salem, and we're, we're going to run this against man blitzes. Now one of the great things about this, this particular play is that if you got a guy that does a lot of heavy man blitzing, you've got this little hitch route that's going to pick you up a good 10 yards or more. Uh, if, you, if you have a little time to actually settle into, uh, into the uh, zone, you can rack that puppy and pick up some good more yards with it. But this is a really good route that you can have in your back pocket because uh, a lot of times what's going to happen is that no defender is actually going to go stop that route. You're going to be able to pick up an easy five yards. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to block all uh, because uh, I want to show you that you got another man beater on the back end side, which is this little out route, and you can pick up some pretty easy yards with that. So uh, between the two of these routes, uh, you've got some man beaters. You've also got this dig route on the, uh, off the right with Aguilar. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this off, but if I can... You can see the dig rod is going to be another area of the field that you can do that. Now, uh, a guy's user can actually take away two, those two areas at once, uh, but that's what's cool about, uh, about these, particular, these routes. So we've got this route right here, and that's going to be able to go ahead and get nice separation and get your first downs. Now, what's cool about this gear play, too, is that you basically have a cover two beater right up the middle of the seam. So if you've got um, a wide receiver, a good tight end or so, someone that's got some good speed, some good route, route running, what's going to happen is a lot of times he's not going to get covered. The mid read is not going to cover this guy. So you can go ahead and pop this uh, this, wide, this route right here. It's just always going to get easy separation. Now, uh, over here, you've also got this route that you can attack. So what happens is if the defender actually floats down and takes away the running back route, you're going to be able to go and check that. So watch how he gets open. So we're going to go ahead and just rack that puppy, pick up some easy yards. So you have two different areas of the field that he's going to have to cover. Uh, and um, you know you can get the, you can always get that that check uh, tell with that route. So against cover two, this is essentially going to eat this up too. Now what about cover three? Well. Uh, cover three, uh, we're going to really go ahead and look off to the right and make our progressions from there. So let's show you. I'm going to take a look at the little hitch route. And I've got this crossing route right here that we're going to take a look at. Uh, I'll show you what my fast read is with this particular play. So whether it's cover one, cover two, cover three, or cover or whatever coverage, I'm I'm late looking at the slot receiver. If he, I get his back, I know that this is going to be some kind of a man coverage, and he's going to be the easy completion for five yards. If he presses, I'm going to make my next progression, which is going to be this guy right here, uh, seeing if the if the it's, we got a cover two shell. He's going to get past cover two, be easy completion. My next progression is going to be over here, seeing if the flat comes down. If he comes down, I'm going to hit the out, and then my my flat fourth read is going to be this crossing route off, off the back end side. Um, once again, if I get a back, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pop that route. As soon as the defender actually gives me the back, that's what I'm going to look for. 
So you can see he floats up. So I'll take, I'm gonna take that high possession, uh, uh, high percentage pass right there. I've also got this this out route on the back end side against cover four. So that's gonna be another high uh, uh, percentage pass that you're gonna go for. So the way this play is designed, um, it's gonna give you basically uh, multiple different areas that you're gonna go ahead and attack your opponent with. Now, obviously you have to make fast progressions. If he uses a lot of heavy bla man blitzes, if he uses a lot of hybrid blitzes and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, as long as you start establishing that little hitch route, that's pretty pretty much gonna open up everything for you. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. If you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button. And I've got a full offensive scheme on my Patreon account, so if you wanna go ahead and take a look at my Patreon, I've got a full scheme I'm also gonna have. Probably about six other uh, uh, formation breakdowns uh, out of the Jets, uh, just to help you score more points, basically move the ball up and down the field offensively. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support. Until next time.